Okay, hello friends. This is Ashwin Karkira and I'm back on Adventure on Wheels. I know it's been a long time since I did the, my uh, last vlog, which was our travels to Pench sometime in uh, March, April, end of March, start of April. And now it is August, so almost five months. And uh, this time we are going on a very very short trip so today is a Saturday it's gonna be just an overnight stay uh, at a place in Chikmagalore so we are going to Chikmagalore and with me as usual uh, the camera is donned by my son Dhruv who will uh, share the driving spoils with me and uh, look who's back it's Caesar. So last time he wasn't there with us uh, for the pen strip. Uh, so today he's back along with my wife. So yeah, so Chikmagalur, uh, around 250 to 75 kilometers from Bangalore. Uh, we left at 6:15 in the morning. Right now it is uh, 6:40, and we are just about to reach. The Tumku Road near Yashwantpur. So, yeah, it's going to be a short drive, probably five hours. And uh, let me, you know, take you through the journey. Okay, one one important thing: we are going to stay at a homestay in Chikmagalur. It's called Gudda the Mane. The reviews are good. The place seems to be good. I mean, we've not stayed in a homestay. I don't think ever, right, Kavi? We stayed in Thattekar. Ah, Thattekar we stayed once in a homestay. That was the only experience. And that was a good experience. I hope this one is too. Uh, let's see how it goes. And I'll let you know the road, where to take the turn, how to go. And hopefully that helps you. So keep watching. So we reached uh, Nagasandra, uh, which is on this Tumku road, and one of the most iconic landmarks of Nagasandra now is IKEA, which you can see on your right. I've never visited it because apparently there's a lot of crowd, but yeah, I have to. Okay, so back to our. Uh, road trip so I've been to Chikmagalur earlier as well uh, we had stayed at a coffee estate and uh, apparently it was owned by Tata's uh, so I, I know what Chiklam, Chikmagalur look like but look at the weather this time it's drizzling ever since we've left and the forecast for Chikmagalur is also rains so we are mentally prepared to sit in the homestay and not go out anywhere. Just relax. But if it's just about drizzling, then probably a good time uh, to see the mist and the beauty. I know, I mean, beauty in the sense, the you know, it, sky won't be clear, so you won't see too many things. But I've heard that Chikmagalur during rains is also... Uh, very beautiful, misty, foggy. So let's see what kind of weather awaits us over there. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's not raining too much. Little bit of rains, that's okay. We can just drive around uh, the hills of Chikmagalur if that's the case. So keeping our fingers crossed. 
and hoping for a favorable weather in uh, Chikmagalur. Okay, we are going to get off the uh, highway, Bangalore Pune Highway, because to go to Chikmagalur, we have to take the Bangalore Mangalore Road. So, if you can see this, this is where you have to take or rather get off the highway, get onto the service road and then just a kilometer down the line you will have a left which is the Bangalore Mangalore Highway. So take that route, go up till Hassan which is around 200 or maybe 175 kilometers from here. And from Hassan uh, to Belur, from Belur to Chikmagal. Very simple, straight route. We've covered around 80 kilometers from the time we left home and all the while it's been overcast and the monsoon really brings out vibrant green colors on this road. I mean just have a look, have a look. I don't know if you'll be able to see it but this road and the scenery is mind-blowing. And to think of it, I just came or rather all of us came on this road we were traveling to Mangalore just one week back and somehow I don't feel that they were as vibrant just a week back I don't know why maybe it's a contrast because it's overcast this time but it looks absolutely fantastic just just look at this anyways it's a uh, it's time for me to take a quick uh, halt because Caesar needs to take his walk. It's morning time so he needs to freshen up. Probably I'll just stop over here somewhere. And uh, you guys keep watching. The views are really going to be beautiful. Okay guys, so we are just about to halt for uh, Caesar and then we come across this road okay there's no road right now because the water from an adjacent lake i don't know if there was ever a lake here if you guys just show this i don't know if there was ever a lake but as that lake or whatever it is has overflowed and this water has completely taken over the road Wow, so it must have rained quite a lot over here. Anyways, I hope all the people around here are safe and sound. Also been to Mangalore last week guys do not take the Shiradi Ghat road okay I went by Charmadi Ghat and that was a beautiful road and then somebody told me that Shiradi is also open now and it's good but it is not so unless you get a confirmation that the roads have been repaired 
do not take that route and to make it worse um, we were returning at around 7 o'clock we hit 7 p.m. we hit Shirari Ghat and there was a lot of fog okay uh, I mean that was just a one-off day but overall the road is pathetic avoid it if you are coming towards Bangalore from Mangalore or vice versa use the Charmadi Ghat road that is really good our Caesar can actually roll down the uh, you know windows but I have always I always keep the child lock on otherwise he'll keep opening it every five minutes so let me give you a small demonstration I'm removing the child lock okay Caesar go see that doggy doggy go open ah, open ah, go open as you can see, see he's keeping his leg on the on the button there. Hey, what happened? Why is it not opening? You're not keeping your leg properly, idiot. Ah, uh, see, check, check. <laughs> what happened? I've already opened it, Caesar. So we stopped at a, a place called Anaga Grand, which is in Chandraya Patna. Let me show it to you. Okay. So, compared to uh, Dhruvatare, Vaishali, Pakshala, the restaurants that we've had on this road, I think this is a better one. The masal dosa, medu vada was good. My wife had rava masala, she says that was not so good. But overall, I felt this is a pretty decent and good from a taste perspective so whenever you're passing through here uh, look at or rather look for Anaga Grand uh, in Chandrayaman after breakfast the duties have changed so I'm sitting in the passenger seat and my son Dhruv is driving now uh, so we've covered around I think 150 kilometers, 166 in fact, and uh, we have to take a left turn and get into Hassan city, uh, which should be around 30 to 40, 40 kilometers probably. And from a time perspective, we it is now 9 9:15 a.m. So hours and 45 minutes since we left and we spent around what half an hour for the breakfast so total driving time is 2 hours and 15 minutes and we've covered 160 kilometers and the mileage that we are getting is around 14.5 which is not bad and now that my son is driving I'm hoping that we'll get a better mileage because that's what generally happens uh, he gets a better mileage than me okay so friends we are in Hassan city now and uh, from here the homestay shows to be around 80 kilometers so an hour and a half max to max two and we should be there and I checked with the owner or the manager and according to him it's uh, raining on and off in Chikmagalore and it's very foggy and misty so yeah good good lazy weather so just get into the room and relax that's what vacations are for right and Caesar you're excited Caesar boy get down <laughs>
is a we have not yet reached Bellur, but the road that you just saw, that's the right turn towards Halevidu. And Bellur and Halevidu are two of the uh, you know important towns from the Hoysala dynasty times. That's basically we are talking about 11th to 14th century. And uh, both these towns are famous for their old architecture, their temples and uh, there is a very famous temple in Belur. I think it is called uh, Channa Keshava. <coughs> so I've never been there but I've read about it. But we are uh, currently what around 10 kilometers away from uh, the town of Belur. And uh, time again is 10 o'clock, so we should be good to reach by 11. Okay, so friends, change of plans. Uh, Kavi wanted to go to Belu Temple, so this is the Chenna Keshava Temple I was referring to from the 14th century, or probably earlier than that. So here we are. Uh, so Dhruv and Caesar will sit in the car while me and Kavi will visit the temple and be back. So friends, here we are. Uh, about to enter the Belu temple, Channa Keshava. And I'm not sure if they'll allow me to use the mobile inside. So that is why I'm recording from outside itself. Let's see. Friends, I'm telling you, you've got to come here to believe this. I mean, this is a, these are sculptures from the 14th century or probably even earlier. And it is intricate, it is majestic. I can't even think if somebody can make something like this in today's world. It's absolutely amazing. That's all I can say. I mean, this is the entire temple complex. And let me let me show you one of the architecture. You will really be amazed. Look at this. I don't know if I can go up there. Here. You can see this. And this is just one of these, huh? I mean, our ancestors were really great men. They knew the art, they knew what they were doing. Okay, see her. Anyways, time for us to leave. still yet to reach and as we go the the view just gets better and better 
it's beautiful and with the slight drizzle it makes it even more beautiful wow just look at that. I, I don't know how much of it you can actually see through this GoPro but there are mountains everywhere total greenery with drizzle beautiful Okay, friends, we've reached Chikmagalur, land of coffee. That's what the boat says. Uh, but apparently, our uh, homestay is around 20 24 kilometers from the town center. So, we've just entered Chikmagalur. Town is still probably another 5 10 kilometers away, and from there, another 20 kilometers. And from a time perspective it's 11 20 now and we have covered 250 kilometers exactly since morning so another 30 kilometers probably okay uh, so keep watching keep watching because we're going to take you on a tour of uh, the homestay itself and when we visit these points that's Mulyangiri and Kemenogudi so friends uh, around five kilometers back we got off the main road and uh, we are just a kilometer away from the homestay and it's all a jungle kind of a road just have a look it's beautiful and it's right near a mountain and it has been raining but now thankfully it is not so we are pretty near right now I mean this is pristine untouched environment this is just lovely so friends finally we reached we are right at the gate of Guddanamane uh, total driving time is six and a half hours in fact five and a half six and a half because we spent some time having breakfast then we went to Belu temple so five and a half hours and 278 kilometers okay so the gate opens okay guys we need to check in keep yes. you updated so here we are in our room uh, room with two queen beds 
There's nothing, you know, luxurious as such. No TV as well. But that's what you want, right? You want to relax coming over here. We had our lunch. Very good home cooked food. Okay, Caesar stay there. And it's a nice little place. There are some five, six cottages, as you can see. And uh, totally green everywhere. You can see. Yeah. And one thing. The insects are making a lot of noise. Lot of noise. I'm pretty sure you can hear it too. So now, uh, lunch done. It's uh, 1.45 p.m. So we are planning to go to Mulayangiri, uh, which is a peak. So it will take around an hour and a half from here. Be back by 5.36. And then uh, check out tomorrow morning. That's about it. But nice place if you want to relax. Yeah. We are just about to reach uh, the top of uh, Mulayangiri and as you can see there is a lot of fog, it's scary fog out here. Okay, I think we've reached uh, three more kilometers it says. Okay, what happened? Why is this person coming back? It's not either. <laughs> okay, let's, let's check it out. Let's check out what happened. All okay? Okay, okay. Simply beautiful. Okay, guys. He's there. Right at the top of William Giri. And there is so much of activity. Drizzle, breeze, fog, wow. It's 3.40 p.m. So 
probably by 5.15 we should be able to reach our homestay then just take a rest wake up tomorrow morning have breakfast and leave but on the way we plan to visit a couple of places there's a dam near Belur so we plan to visit there and then probably just probably we might even go to Hale Bidu and then to Bangalore so we'll reach Bangalore pretty early I would say but that's fine I mean this experience of Mulyahangiri is in itself worth everything just loved it I hope you guys too So, time to go back. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock and we are checking out. Uh, just came to say goodbye. Unless we visit some place uh, on our way to Bangalore, then we will probably start again. But uh, with the range and all, I don't think we'll be visiting too many places. So, just, just have a look at this place. They have a pond here. I'm assuming that it's been fed by rainwater harvesting because I see two pipes over there feeding it water. And uh, being a bird watcher, I've seen a lot of birds here. Unfortunately, it's raining, so I couldn't photograph any one of them. But yeah, probably a good place to visit during December, Jan, Feb. That's the main birding season. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed our stay over here. Food was very good, homely home cooked and um, now just have to leave so, hey friends so we are at Yagachi Falls and the uh, view over here is awesome because there's the water flow is really too much have a look Only one thing you have to be careful of is how do you get down over here because I just slipped and fell so there's a lot of slush that's because it's raining probably on a normal day it wouldn't be such but yeah so on our way back to Bangalore visited Yagachi Dam as well it's just two three kilometers from Belur town you should come here it's really beautiful Friends, we have come to Halebiru, uh, we have come to this temple and again just like Belur, the carvings are intricate and just too good. Let me show it to you. So since we can't do photography inside the temple, I can't show it to you, but just have a look outside.
So apparently, a lot of the carvings depict stories about Mahabharata, Ramayana, I think. I am not sure. That's what I had read. But beautiful.